My name is Vladimir Padnos. I am director of marketing and support of Terra Analysis. I live in Toronto, Canada, and after my short introduction, you will listen to our main speaker, Mr. Peter Dixon from Park Rim Engineering Services. Let me briefly outline what will be discussed today. QuickField is a finite element package with very diverse set of applications. And uh, this slide shows possible types of analysis for QuickField 5.7 which was released several weeks ago and includes new transient nonlinear analysis option. As you see, this range is very diverse and in this series of webinars we plan to cover different applications and ways of QField use. Those who missed our previous webinars are welcome to listen and watch recorded media files available at our website. In majority of our QuickField applications, our users appreciate the main difference between QuickField and other packages. The fact that QuickField requires no training. But as any statement, in some causes, uh, cases it is not true, not because QuickField is complicated, but because the simulated problem may be very complicated. This webinar is dedicated to the topic, which is very interesting, but uh, rather complicated. We will speak about use of QuickField for coupled multiphysical analysis uh, related to electrothermal design. This kind of analysis requires solving couplet electromagnetic and thermal problems where some electromagnetic parameters may be temperature dependent. And there is no direct way to define such kind of uh, cross-formulation temperature dependency in quick field. However, it is possible to manually adjust parameters of magnetic problem after solving the couplet thermoelectric problem and repeat such steps. Or better use automation which is offered by a technology called Active Field. Active Field is the open object interface to QuickField, kind of application programming interface, API, to QuickField models. Majority of our customers use Active Field behind the scene when they run our parametric analysis tool, Label Mover, or perform data conversion from Excel to QuickField data formats. But it is possible to use Active Field directly for creating, modifying, or analyzing QuickField models. This chart shows the hierarchy of ActiveField objects. Our main speaker, Mr. Peter Dixon from Pacrim Engineering Services, will show you how to use ActiveField programming and you will see that it is not as complicated as it looks.